What's up guys, Inca Tech here with another tutorial on how to. In this case, we're going to figure out what is going on with the Rebel 5 and why it cannot make calls out. A lot of users have been reporting that when they're trying to call to a number, it is giving them a network issue. Here's an example of what I mean. So I'm trying to call out to this phone number. This is a test number, mobile network not available. Now, when this appears, there are a few things that you could definitely try out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cancel here. Go ahead and log on to your Wi-Fi. For the purpose of my security, I'm going to go ahead and log in now. All right, as you can see, I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, and I'm going to open the Play Store. In the Play Store, if you haven't signed in yet, go ahead and sign in. I'm going to do that myself as well. Still waiting for my access to my account to sign in. I'm going to go ahead and accept everything. Okay. Once I have signed in, we're going to go ahead and open the Play Store once again. I'm going to go ahead and click on your icon on the top right-hand corner. We're going to go ahead and click on My Apps and Games. All right, what a lot of people haven't realized is that in order for this device to work properly, not just this device, any other devices as well, we have to understand that the Google services and the Android system have to be updated. Without this update, the phone is not going to work properly. So make sure you update everything, and I'd rather do it all at once. Once all this update is completed, you'll see that the list here will shrink and the number and pending should be at zero. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wait for that now. And while we continue to wait for these pending updates, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in the background running. I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm gonna go open settings. Okay, when I'm inside settings, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to actually see if there are any system updates that need to be done. So you can see the app has shut down because it's obviously still updating some of its carrier updates. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try once again. We'll go ahead and click on settings, click on system, advance, and system update. Here we go, finally. Now as you can see, there's an important software update. Now it can take up to 10 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and click download and install. And hopefully this downloads and install at the same time as the other ones in the background. Now I think this is a patch for that issue that it's causing carrier callouts and being able to receive text messages and calls as well. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this as well. While I continue to wait here, it's important to note that while these updates are happening, you're probably not going to be able to make a call regardless. But let's say all of these updates have been completed, and most importantly, Android system web view has been updated. What you want to do is go ahead and hold down the power button on the right hand side, and you will then see the restart option here. Once the phone turns off and turns back on, Go ahead and try to dial out once again. Let me check out the system update, see how that's going. Still downloading. Now, if after these updates, the phone itself is still not making a call, it's still not getting text messages, or it's still not receiving data, the most next important part is to actually head on over to your nearest Metro by T-Mobile or T-Mobile store. At the store, you want to go ahead and let them know that your device is no longer receiving any calls, text, or data, and that you require a network refresh. 
the network refresh is not something that you could do yourself. This is something that the carrier will, will have to do on their back end and reset your towers. That's also a solution and a final step. If, however, those two steps are completed, meaning you went ahead and updated your device, both apps and system, you went ahead and tried to do a network reset and it's still not receiving any calls, text, or data, then the device itself is faulty. At that point, I would recommend replacing your device through the warranty or seeing if you could get another device in an exchange. I honestly hope this has been helpful to you guys. And if so, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Any other issues that you may be experiencing with Rebel 5, go ahead and drop down in that comment, and I'll try to resolve them as best as possible. Cheers, guys.